Oh, this is gonna piss all the neighbors off. They're probably already pissed. It's gonna wake them up and piss them off. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be hacking up the exhaust on the GTI. And what I mean hacking up, I mean cutting off probably right about here. Previous owner, maybe the previous previous, or the previous 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 installed a glass pack um, in place of a muffler so actually maybe I'm not I may not have to actually hack it off it's got two clamps there so I'm gonna see if they are rusted off if they are still clean enough to where I can actually remove the bolts then I will do that pull it off and see how it sounds because I do want to do straight pipe on this uh, three inch all the way out cat back but the main reason I'm actually taking it off is because of this that little 45 angle, whoever put that on was maybe not the smartest, but I'm not gonna judge. I wanna put the rear lip on the car and I can't do that the way the exhaust is. So I'm gonna do two different things to get exactly what I want. Pull the exhaust off, make it sound better. Pull the rear lip off. Go ahead and put the new uh, 20th edition rear lip on. So let's get started. It's out, it's out, yes. I actually lucked out because there are two clamps here and the nuts were not broke not broke but they weren't seized onto the studs so I was able to spin those two loose which connected it to the uh, wraparound wheel wheel area and that just had one single bolt holding it to the chassis so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this probably not gonna keep it you know what that means Gonna throw it away. And you know what that means. This is a true cold start. Has not been uh, started since yesterday. Complete straight pipe. Uh, all that's left is the factory header and the cat. Everything else is uh, straight piped. I think it's two and a half inch all the way out. Um, don't know if three inch would make a sound difference, but about to set up the tripod and get it started for you so you guys can hear it for the first time. So I took it on a test drive and I was trying to figure out why everyone was staring at it aside from being, being so loud. And I forgot the front end was kind of missing, the headlights and the grill. So it kind of looks like a little sh box that's driving around town really, really freaking loud. And <laughs> that may be a little bit too loud, but I like it. I think it'll tone, it'll tone down once I get the exhaust actually facing this way, um, because right now it's actually just uh, if you guys know about these exhausts, they come down, then turn, and then come out and go over the um, control arm area. And this is actually going over and then dumping straight into the ground. So it's a little bit louder than probably what it is because it's ricocheting off the ground and making it even louder. So once I get the exhaust actually shooting out towards the back, um, it should be nice and tame. Time for the rear lip. I got the factory one off. As you guys can see right there. Super, super simple. Um, the only two bolts, uh, screws that you're actually going to be removing are from those two tabs. One there and one there. 
They are a T25 screw. This is the 20th edition. The company Maxton Design created it. So, authentic, we will see. So let's go ahead and put it on now. And if you guys don't believe me about Maxton Design, there you go. Part number and everything. Got this from ECS Tuning, along with the Maxton Design 20th edition um, side skirts that I probably will put on this weekend. But straight piped, rear lip, let's put it on. The lip is on. I've got a little bit more fitment to do um, right over here. I just gotta pop them into place. And then on the edges, uh, right there, there's actually a piece of the sheet metal that you have to like, kind of trim. And then it sits nicely. But yeah, that looks good. You can see what I'm talking about actually right here. How it kind of wants to stick out. I'm losing daylight, so I'm gonna make this quick. There's a little trim piece behind here that that snaps into and uh, it's got like a little hook uh, what I mean hook is see that little piece on the right here it's supposed to wrap around there's a little crease in the body molding here and what you do is just cut a little hole there a little section off and it slides right over it snaps into place so I just need to work on that edge and then that section right there will pop in and it will be good to go. But, that looks really, really, really good. What do you guys think? Got a D-badge, rear wiper, delete, put on the side skirts, probably all on Sunday. Tomorrow's Christmas, so I'll spend the day with the family. And then the windows will be pulled and resealed. Get the dent fixed on the quarter above the gas door. Then, coilovers, wheels, tires, and the color change. You guys be ready for it. That's going to be it for today's video, you guys. Appreciate you watching the videos. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below. See you guys on the next one.